My name is Adam Greenberg. I got a couple of hats on. I'm here with 350 Massachusetts and also Students for a Just and Stable Future. And I'm also with Sustain Us, U.S. Youth for Sustainable Development. And uh, were you surprised by the number of people that showed up today? Well, I haven't heard uh, a reliable count. I would have been disappointed if there were less than 20,000, frankly. I'm not surprised. And there's, there's solidarity rallies happening all around the country right now, which is adding at least 10,000, if not more people. So no, I'm not surprised because this is, a, this is an issue that America feels very strongly on because we care about our survival. Did you travel with the group of folks or by yourself? I came down with the the Massachusetts. We brought seven buses down from Massachusetts and our allies brought another four buses down from Western Mass. Did you organize that? Uh, the Massachusetts and Better Future Project organized that. Okay. How long have you been, been involved with eco-activism? Uh, you know, I wrote, a, I wrote a piece in the Huffington Post uh, last week, and I said, you know, we're not really activists. We are people who actively want a livable future and are acting on that need. Um, I think that a lot of people here aren't activists or professional activists. We're just people that want a future. People that understand what's at stake here. Um, well, good. Uh, what do you think needs to happen to make things right? I mean, in this country, uh, in this country, we need to start taking climate action seriously. It's a it's a phenomenon that's pretty much unique in this country. That there's even climate denial and uh, and um, climate being a partisan issue. I just spoke with uh, the the commissioner of the Philippine Climate Commission, which is the, the body of the Philippine government that's on climate change. You know, I have friends all around that are part of the international youth climate movement. And so we, we go to the United Nations, like the Copenhagen climate negotiations. Yeah. And all over the world, everyone else gets it. Everyone else is together. Uh, so we need to make that space here. And I think that's what we're doing. There was an article that came out recently concerning the fact that uh, oil companies are contributing to misinformation about climate change. you know about that? Oh yeah, it's been published in The Guardian and uh, I know in the Independent and Drist who blogged it. But yeah, there's uh, a, a lot of millions of dollars that have gone in anonymously uh, to contributing to climate, uh, climate denial of climate. The science of your view is pretty clear on that? Uh, well, yeah, but it's not just my view, it's the view of the overwhelming majority of relevant scientists around the world. That, that is one of the prevailing and pervasive myths that only exists in the United States, that there's really any doubt or any or a lack of consensus. That's not true. There is consensus. Everyone knows that it's happening, everyone knows that we have to deal with it.